Hello and welcome to Future Consideration, SB Nation's weekly NFL draft show. That's Dan Rubenstein. He watches a lot of college football. Yes, I do. And that is Matt Ufford. He is our NFL mm -hmm. guy. We're going to dive into things right now this yes. week, talking about this week's mock draft from our friends at Mocking the Draft. Let's start at the top. Jadeveon Clowney, your clear number one, no matter who is picking there, needs to go there? I think so. The only thing the Texans might do, uh, if they're going to go with a quarterback, it seems readily apparent now that you can afford to trade down and yep. get a quarterback. So yes. I think that's a possibility. But Clown is such a you know once in a decade sort of talent that you kind of want to go for him. Is so enormously yep. high. Greg Robinson, we've seen him around here in previous weeks. The Rams offensive tackle in the NFC West. No qualms. No qualms. You want to make that investment against the NFC West tough defenses. Yep. It makes perfect sense. He's gonna hurt somebody. I hope not. <laughs> Khalil Mack, thank you, Seattle fan. <laughs> go Seahawks! Uh, Khalil Mack, who seems to be as polished a product at his position as anybody in this draft, going to Jacksonville and Gus Bradley. That ja that Jaguars defense with with Bradley as a defensive minded mm -hmm. coach is is gonna make some news this, this this coming season. I think. Yes. No. There is an actual nice core there, mm -hmm. and Khalil Mack would only add to that. Sammy Watkins at four. Clearly the number one receiver, probably one of the best receivers in multiple draft classes, going back to maybe A.J. Green. Cleveland fit? I I don't love it for Cleveland. They already have Josh Gordon there, and I think right. they have bigger needs than wide receiver. Right. That said, I don't think you're really going to regret drafting Sammy Watkins. The reason why I think it's okay, even though I'm generally anti-receiver, is he's so versatile. He can help out in the return game. They can run him on end of rounds. He can do a lot of different things. And number five, something you I love like. It. For entertainment ear value, ear. Johnny Manziel to the Raiders. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that I think about this is Reggie McKenzie and Dennis Allen are on the hot seat. Yes. They're going to have to turn that team around this year. Uh, with Matt Schaub at quarterback, do they, do they go with a playmaker, someone who right. shores up the defense? I don't know. I feel like there's a smarter decision to be made, but when Johnny Manziel and his ceiling as a playmaker is there, and that fit with Oakland, he'll wear face paint in a game. He'll I go so. silver and black. He'll do whatever. He will be he will be sainted in Oakland. Yes, it's hard for me to really complain. Let's jump around a little bit. I think we both like this pick. The Bills and Eric Ebron at nine. Yeah, the, the Bills are kind of set. Like Scott Chandler is a is a, He's fine. a is a perfectly good tight end. Yes. But I also do like that uh, explosive playmaking tight end, especially when you've got that young quarterback. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, the security blanket yep. of a big target who can get around on the field, get open from it anywhere. And I and like you look, it. look at the secondaries in the AFC East. Obviously, New England investing in their secondary yep. this offseason. The Jets play really well mm -hmm. back there. So getting a playmaker like Ebron can only be a good thing. The Giants at 12, Taylor Lewan. You know, we both have said many positive things about Taylor Lewan. We think he's going to be a very yes. good tackle in the NFL. But when we talked about the Giants team needs, they, they have needs on the offensive line, but it's all towards the center of the right. line. I kind of would like to see them more invest in the center uh, center or guard position, mm -hmm. but I guess if you're picking at 12 overall, that's that's really not where the it's value, a value is. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm okay with it. You're fine with it. Okay, Odell Beckham. I like that he's higher than he's been in recent mocks because I think he is he's very very good and did a great job for many years for LSU to the Steelers who have purchased some wide receiver talent recently. There's, a, there's been kind of a revolving door wide receiver right. for the Steelers recently. It'd be nice to have someone uh, be uh, a staple number a staple one, hold there. down one side of Next the field. Next to good old Antonio. Yeah, that would be really nice, especially as Big Ben is in his prime and it's sort of a you have to win now if, the, if you're Big Ben. Baltimore with Zach Martin. Uh, of course, the Ravens had a historically inept running game yes. in uh, last year, and that's largely because of a terrible offensive line. Mm -hmm. Also, Ray Rice not getting any younger. No. Um, and so, yeah, of It'd course. be weird if Ray Rice was getting younger. That like, would be strange. What is going on with Ray yeah. Rice? He's 15. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Zach Martin. Uh, but, but so you've got someone who's versatile, who can play both tackle and guard. It makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense. Yes, especially on the right side if it's going to be a tackle but can move inside on a pinch, obviously. Mm -hmm. C.J. Mosley to Miami at 19. Weird to think about him falling this far because I think, and we'll get into this in a little bit, he's the clear number one inside linebacker. Mm -hmm. But Miami and their needs there, do you like it? Uh, I think it actually there, there have been some rumblings of Mosley falling in the draft stock kind of just because linebackers tend to slide down the board a little right. bit. We saw it with Manti Teo last year. Yep. But uh, it makes a lot of a sense for the Dolphins. They have a lot of money tied up with linebackers, mm -hmm. but they're not very good. They don't right. have a lot of talent in that position. I like the pick. Yeah, and the, the front still needing help last year. Deion Jordan perhaps not working out like they thought yeah. that high in the draft. So. 
I like it. And finally at 32, your Seattle Super Seahawks Boing. with Cyrus K, which could be a huge value if he's if he turns out healthy. The they certainly are drafting to fill a need there. Lost Breno Jacomini in free agency. Yeah. If Quanjo stays healthy, he'll slide in to start at right tackle right away. I think it makes a ton of sense. Just the old fingers crossed. The the Seahawks got burned just a couple of years ago with James Carpenter, a first round pick yep. who never panned out at guard for them. Yeah, who would have thunk? But it's a nice I, I like this model. Whew, we're getting close to the draft. That's one of our last mock draft yes. reviews. Let us know if you agree or disagree with your team's choices.